Hello everyone, this is Rowdy Squad Animation Bliss and welcome to another Animated News Roundup series. So we got a bit of animated news for this week, but before we get into that, here are a few words from the channel. Alright Animaniacs, now let's get on the social media train. Want to chat with us in 100 words or less? Then check out our Twitter account. Want to chat with us within a group? Then check out our Facebook account. Want to get the lowdown on everything dealing with animation on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So the first big animation news for this week is that the Super Mario Bros. movie has crossed over a billion dollars at the box office. And the second bit of news is that we now have a release date for the second half of Sonic Prime. Now let's get into thoughts for the day where I talk about my thoughts on this week's animation news. So in regards to the Super Mario Brothers movie hitting over a billion dollars, I will admit that I am very impressed by this. Like I kind of knew going in that the Super Mario Brothers movie was going to make a lot of money at the box office because one, Illumination's doing the movie and they're well known for making a lot of billion dollar movies such as the Minions franchise. And two, this movie features Mario, who's one of the biggest icons in the video game industry. And the fact that you have Illumination working on this film, and also the fact that this film is based off of one of the video game industry's biggest icons, made it possible for this film to get over a billion dollars. What did shock me about this though was how fast the film was able to get over a billion dollars in just a few months. Like the movie premiered in theaters in April, and it only took like a month and a half until the movie was able to reach a billion dollars. And usually it takes a while for a movie to reach over a billion dollars at the box office, but the Super Mario Brothers movie managed to do that very quickly in a short amount of time, and that really impressed me. I'm assuming that the reason why a lot of people went to see this Mario movie, or the reason why this Mario movie made so much money at the box office, was because this was the first Mario movie we've seen on the big screen in a while. Like the last time that Mario was on the big screen, it was way back in 1993 when he had the live action movie. And let's just say that the live action movie was eh, not that great. But the fact that this movie is a lot more faithful to the games than the original live action movie was, was probably what brought in a lot of people to watch the Mario movie. And I am wondering to myself if the sequel is going to get more money than the first movie because let's face it, this movie is going to get a sequel so why not? But anyway, it does make me wonder if the sequel is going to make even more money than the first movie. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But overall, I'm really happy that the Super Mario Brothers movie was able to make over a billion dollars the box office and I'm really interested in seeing the future of this franchise in movie form. And in regards to the news about Sonic Prime's release date in regards to the second half of the series, the second half of the series is slated to be released on July 13th. So as of this video it is June so that means next month the second half of Sonic Prime will be released in July. And I'm really excited for this because I've really been enjoying Sonic Prime so far. I think it's a really good Sonic the Hedgehog show. Sure there are some problems with the show like I'm not a huge fan of the Egg Council but I'm hoping that the second half of the series is able to rectify these characters and make them more interesting. And I say the second half of the series because apparently Netflix wants to categorize this as season two but a lot of people are like saying no it can't be season two it's more like season one B or it's more like the second half of the first season because with how television tends to work we usually have like 13 to 26 episodes per season and the fact that we only got eight episodes for this supposed first season you know a lot of people are saying well this is just like the second half of season one and stuff like that this is not really season two because you're supposed to have like 13 episodes in one season not eight episodes in one season so of course a lot of people are saying this is more like the second half of Sonic Prime rather than season two of Sonic Prime I personally call it season 1B since technically speaking I do go with the mindset that there are 26 episodes or 13 episodes per season and because there were only 8 episodes released of Sonic Prime so far I'm assuming that this is more like season 1B or the second half of season 1 so that's how I feel about it but the main point of this is that there's going to be a second batch of episodes coming out for Sonic Prime in July and I'm really excited for it. 
So that's it for this week's animated news roundup. And tell me in the comments down below, what do you guys think about this week's animation news? Are you really happy that the Super Mario Brothers got over a billion dollars at the box office? And are you amazed that it was able to get over a billion dollars in the box office that fast? And are you looking forward to seeing more Sonic Prime in July? Please let me know in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rowdy's Ball at Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, animation fans. Like this video? If you want to see more animated content from this channel, then please hit that big old animated subscribe button so that you can get more awesome content from this channel.